Hello everybody, welcome to week three of the Blood Bowl Super League Group B action. We have Diamed here. Um, let me just see what colours they are. Okay, let's keep it red, please. Um, Diamed, Necromantic, Core, K-Fog, Kofu, however you want to say his name. K I like K-Fog because I think it's easy. Everyone can pronounce K-Fog, right? It's all right. It reminds me of uh, it reminds me of K Fed, right? The 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 dude who married Brittany, innit? He was K Fed, and so this is K Fog. Um, so there you go. How, but however you want to, uh, however you want to pronounce it, Big Kev is another one. Right. So here we go. K Fog has got knobs. Obviously, knobs are terrible. As much as Demi likes them, they are actually a terrible Blood Bowl team. Um, he hasn't got a skill in his bodyguard. He's got only got two guards. Because the other one has got Mighty Blow Tackle with Wrestle, so that's a bit ropey, isn't it? Block Ogre's alright. Dodgers are alright. Leaders, alright. Uh, engaging question. Who is your favourite? Who is your favourite pop act from the 90s or noughties? There you go, seeing as I just mentioned Britney. Uh, the Super League is Resurrection, yes. It is actually a NAF, it's like a NAF style league. It is like the Euro Bowl rules. We actually use the exact Euro Bowl rules with one of the cheaper options for the team building. So um, there is a link to the rules and everything in YouTube. There isn't in chat because I don't have the chat bot anymore, but I'm going to sort that out this week, hopefully. Um, so yeah, Diamond's gone a bit weird because he's only got the one wolf. Um, both Dave and myself went two wolves because you do get seven positionals with. Uh, well, you get seven skills, so you can you know you can skill every position. Um, but rather than doing it that way, <laughs> Diamond's done it a different way, and it's it's not terrible, but um. He's just got like a. Re Basically, he's gone for a, g a ghoul and a zombie instead of a wolf. And it means he's got a skill stuck on the zombie, right? Whereas uh, Dave and I did basically the exact same build. Bewitched. Love a bit of double denim. There's a p picture of me in, d in the old double denim. <laughs> A classic. <laughs> yeah, knobs are knobs are absolutely terrible. Yeah, no, yeah. Honestly, Kefog can be pleased with that triple stone. There. At least he hasn't got a removal. Um, <laughs> they're terrible. S Club Seven, classic. <laughs> yeah, Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera didn't have the songs that Britney had. I think it's safe to say. I think it's safe to say she didn't have the songs that Britney had. Yes. I mean, S Club had some, had some bangers, didn't it? Oh wow, stupid, stupid ogre. Fails his blitz. <laughs> I mean, yes, obviously it's 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 understandable. Yeah. I'm not I'm not slating Christina. I'm just saying, you know, like some people just like have randomly have better songs, don't they? Or like you know they get they choose better. Like there's all there's always actors who are like, oh god, why didn't I choose? Like you know, if people had the chance to do like um, Will Smith, didn't he have the chance to do The Matrix and stuff? Some some actors have the chance to do some movies and don't do them, and then maybe you know. It's the same with songs, right? Some people are just lucky or choose better or whatever. Super interesting. <laughs> right, so there you go. Um, Core just walked back a bit. Nothing special. Um, Diamond is, you know, he's got the ball up successfully. He just wants to try and punch things and protect things as much as possible, right? <laughs> 
he did, didn't he? See, Rose, he did. So blitzing this guy isn't so good. You always want to have like a player behind somebody with Necro, right? So that they frenzy trap themselves or they'll get stuck. So what you can do is here is you, the first time he hits you, you can uh, you can not use stand firm. So he's he's next to you, and then you stand firm on the second one, so you get to punch him back. So he, you know this guy has got stand firm, but makes it a little bit different. Because if you didn't have stand firm, you could you'd push him on the first hit, and then second hit you could power him and not and not have your wolf stuck. So he might he might not be the wolf. He does be the wolf. So now he can just not use stand firm, and then he can hit the wolf. Now, of course, the 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 thing that Diamed has arguably done wrong here was activating his dirty player, because that made it a lot easier for Di uh, for Kfog to choose to be not stand firm, right? He does the old dodge. He does the classic blitz and dodge. The absolute classic, terrible necromantic play. <laughs> Disgusting. I mean, yeah, Astro, but you know what I mean. Like, I wonder if it's the same thing with with like with songs, right? Whether they, you know, how much, how much, because like they don't write their own songs, do they? In general, right? Certainly, pop acts generally don't write their own songs. I don't know if it's that, like, you know, say, like, for example, Kylie and Danny, right? Danny didn't have very many good songs at all, and Kylie had loads of bangers. Was Kylie with a better company that was like, you know, better at stealing songs and giving more options to the to the performers? Oh, did you, was she just better at picking bangers than Danny, or had first choice and stuff? It's interesting, isn't it? I don't really don't know how. I really don't know how pop songs work. Um, so there you go. Yeah, exactly. Hello, Hellboy. You did write some of them, didn't you? You did write half write some of them. <laughs> half write some of them. <laughs> hmm, interesting, isn't it? It's super interesting, but I really don't know like who's you know who it's up to or how it's up to or whatever. Like, whereas at least with with uh, actors, you know, some of them just like some of them have said they've just turned things down and stuff. Oh my god! So, K Fog this time his bonehead worked, but he was trying to blitz the foul appearance guy, and he failed the foul appearance, so he doesn't move at all. The big buff to foul appearance, you know, in the old rules, he would have walked up to him and then failed to hit him. Whereas now it strands the. Uh, Strands the old way completely. You know, that was the risk of blitzing that player. He actually could have blitzed that. Oh, you've only got one day on him. So it was good protecting the ghoul there uh, by Diamond. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, weird Al, right? Like, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Kind of the opposite to Weird Al in a way. <laughs> but um, also similar. <laughs> yeah, like, like loads of actors have said like they just chose not to do things or whatever, didn't they? So I, but I, oh wow. Okay, well, yeah, he's got a guard there, but then what if that guard goes or whatever? Oh, he was blitzing, okay. He was blitzing, errata, errata. He was blitzing. I thought it was a bit, I thought it was a bit rowdy from uh, Diamond. Now, of course, with these two guarders next to each other, if he was to blitz, if he was to block with this wolf, and he didn't stand firm, it'd be into an uphill, so can't really risk doing that. But he'll just break AV with a lineman, zombie, whatever you want to call them. A blockless block. Interesting that you put the extra player in to hit that player. Because I would have rather hit the one with guard. Ah, 
nobody's putting that in, isn't them both? Clever. Get wrestled. Weird Al is pretty weird to be fair. But some of his songs are funny, aren't they? Not as good as Hellboys though. Oh, not fouling. I wonder if he'd have fouled if he'd uh if it wasn't stunned to assist foul, maybe. Hasn't had a lot of value out of this dirty player as Diamond. <laughs> Finally. Call stops trying to blitz with the ogre. <laughs> this wrestler gets a stun. I mean, this is okay. This is okay for K Fog in it. Like, still 11 aside. Out guarded. But surviving. Do you know what, Ali Red? I never watched it ever. And probably never will. Well, not even probably. Almost certainly never will. Wow, the crow looks terrible. Terrible. No, just everything, Astrotone. Just everything. It's just not a good team. Like over, everything's overcosted, right? The linemen are forty-five. The blitzers are too expensive. The the stand for the wrestle stand firm dudes is like wrestle and stand firm is anti-synergistic. And while you would want stand firm on it eventually, front loading the cost is bad. Makes them overcosted. The blitzers don't get strength access. Don't get dauntless. So they're just weird. The blitzers are weird. The blockers are anti-synergistic. Yeah, yeah, it's a joke. It's an absolute joke. Linemen are trash. The throwers are terrible and expensive. The throwers are unbelievable. They're, they're, they're PA 3 plus instead of 2 plus for a human. And they get running pass instead of sure hands. So, um... Yeah, it's not a good team. So the only thing that it's good for is is in stuff like, you know, NAF style, if you think they, they get so much stuff from their tiering that they're worth it, right? Like, that's the individual's assessment. Um, oh God, he blitzes back up and wrestles it down again. Amazing. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yes, Astrator, yeah. Yeah, it's stupid, isn't it? Yes, Bretonians are just better, yeah. And Bretonians are bad. Bretonians were bad, but knobs are worse. Sorry, Dimmy. But there can be times where, like, you know, like, let's say Necro getting six skills and knobs were getting 12 skills. If that was if that was the case at a tournament, you know, you could see somebody taking them then because their package was so good, right? But really, it's the the only the only niche that knobs have is people like Dimmy loving them for like no reason, um, or you know whatever like n non gameplay reasons, right? Um, go, or maybe game maybe knocking not not win rate reasons like no no one is playing them for win rate reasons 
They might like their play style, they might like the fluff, they might like the models, whatever. But um, nobody's playing them because they think they're the best team. Straight up. But if they get a good package, I still wouldn't play them. But <laughs> you could, I mean, you could, right? If they were getting 20 skills and every other team was getting four, you would play, you would play knobs, wouldn't you? So. So it is possible for them to be good, but they need they need a really good package in a rare style format. It was like Chaos at least have like high TV, right? Chaos will always be rubbish in that format, but at least like they, they, in normal play they get that. And no, I didn't think about playing knobs. I thought about Old, old World Alliance um, because they could get a sneaky, get dirty player catcher and like six guard or something um and what put me off is even though the package was good the team is still that bad that i didn't want to um which is the thing right like you think oh this is a good package you think this is a good package to get load, like get loads of guard and i get and then i get a sneaky get dirty player and then you think but how do i win <laughs> and it's like when you think about it, like, you know, if the underlying team is not good, it's still not good, right? It's like, that's the thing, like, with, you know, several tournaments have had, like, Chaos get loads of, like, you know, really high skill packages. But Chaos are just a terrible team, and it's, even with an amazing skill package, it's still very hard to justify using them. This is actually huge, isn't it? This stun. There's a, uh, there's an Ogre on the loose. So surely Diamond will move up here to Cage. But, um, you know, you've got to, got to think about Stand Firm. And fend and tricky, tricky, tricky. Good evening, Walter. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> um, yeah, Amazon's are bizarrely usually under tiered. Yeah. Don't make no sense to me. I didn't mind this from the wolf here, yeah, because like he can fend you anyway. So you know, push into the push into the stand firm and then if he wants he'll get pushed along, but it doesn't really matter whether he is or isn't. Knobs still OP. And then puts that for the second one. Interesting. And he does fend him. Super interesting. Goes for the blitz there. And a huge knockdown and a huge stone. That was critical, wasn't it? Because if he just pushed him, then um, all of a sudden... He would have been a bit tricky, whereas now he can full cage easily. Gives him a lot of breathing rules as well, like the stun. Even the knockdown was great, but then the breathing room of the stun is incredible. Dodge the uh, ghoul. Oh, he goes for the foul. Sent off. Nice dirty player, mate. Where'd you get it? And this is why I don't like the dirty player build. <laughs> and it's easy to say after he's been sent off on the first foul he's made. But it's just like... I don't know. Like, I, I have fouled. I have fouled before, obviously, like dancers, war dancers. Sometimes like witch elves and stuff, but like the usually like fouls opportunity, right? And it's like I feel like dedicating one of your skill slots to an opportunistic action is not so good. I guess like on table, it's tabletop. I guess it could be better, you know, because you're trying to high roll to get a win. Um, because draws aren't good, but obviously in this format, draws are fine. Uh, 
Yeah, and fun. Yeah, ironically, this stun was the was the incredible stun. Like, I guess having the dirty player to move in and foul. Like, if this hadn't been a stun, having the dirty player able to move in and foul him would have been pretty good. But like again, it's it's so like it's so niche, right? Compared to compared to the block, that's it's great having a block ghoul. It's great having a wrestle ghoul. It's great having guard fleshies and guard wraiths. But. That's a good point, Astrotor. I don't know. I guess he would, yeah, because he's still in contact with him, aren't you? Fend is only stopping the frenzy because they're not in contact with you anymore. What, how it works on Blood Bowl 3, God only knows. Pretty good defense again from KFOG, isn't there? There's no, no easy way through. Roughly parallel to uh, Diamond's team. Diamond send off equalizes the players to 10 10, but now this fleshy comes back in. Well, I think KFOG isn't going to allow an easy score, Astrotor, is the, is the bigger problem there, <laughs> the knobs. Switching to the other side doesn't seem so bad here. I'd be tempted. This guy could blitz him, move up, move up, move up, move in, move across. And he is very good, yeah. Very good at the blood balls, he's big Kev. He's ranked number two in the NAF. And uh, has one chalice in blood ball too. Has won a major in fumble and uh, it's just very good. Oh, wow! Double one. Well, that's not, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> I wonder what his plan was. Because obviously he was going to do something with this guy, otherwise he'd have just moved in. Maybe he could have misclicked, yeah, he could have misclicked. I don't know. He could, yeah, he could have just thought it was four squares, right? And it was five. Well, he did two. No, no, the, the one was the fleshy. Oh, I didn't get the power there. That is uh, unfortunate. Now he hadn't blitzed already. He hadn't blitzed already. He was, gonna, he was setting up something. I, th I think he was setting up something. Because he, he'd already GFI'd here, right? Kind of irrelevant, irrelevantly. Um, but that GFI sets up either a blitz here or a block here, right? So you'd thought you'd have thought he'd have done whichever one of those he was gonna do first. Gets the push. He did have wrestled, didn't he? So he had a one in three with a reroll. So you'd have thought after doing this GFI, which is a one in six to burn a reroll, one in thirty six to turn over. You'd have thought you'd have then used that to, to do what it was setting up, which was either a hit from this wrestle guy or a blitz from the wolf, or a blitz from the wraith. So it was weird to to stand him up and do the GFI, and then to not profit off it before doing this GFI. So maybe he just didn't realize it was a GFI.
or he had a very big brain plan. I mean, we could see a surf if he doesn't uh, if he doesn't get this knocked down. Yeah. The, the handoff to this ghoul seems the best play. And it's very much set up here. This is the the problem the problem that K Fox got here, probably should have done it last turn as well, was was to try and get all this. This is kind of easy, right? You punch him, punch him, blitz him, hand off, potato. And that is the play. Oh yeah, these are both uh bodyguards. So yeah, the knobs aren't getting served. Knobs, knobs, knobs. You've got orange, all the bodyguards. Yeah, it's annoying that he's not skilled, that makes things harder. Uh, the no helmet guy is the thrower. There. And then the blitzers. Well, the blitzers are easy to tell apart because they've got the dodge symbol. And yeah, the linemen and bodyguards aren't easy to tell apart, are they? But to me, I think this is a clear handoff and potato. And the fact that he's making a blockless block means that's what it was doing. The 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 um Fend actually stops him. Going around a bit, right? Because he could go, he could have followed and then gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whereas now he might have to make this dodge. It gets him like further forward and further away anyway. Yeah, it's funny. I would have tried for this last turn, but actually, by by rolling that level one, he kind of made this maybe even more decisive. Yeah, he doesn't get Oh my god, so he was a GFI. Whew. And then he can GFI with this one. So that was obviously the GFI was better odds than the dodge. But the dodge you're more likely to keep your keep your rerolls available, so. I think it's right to do the GFI. But if it also especially as it just makes it one GFI to get this, whereas if he cut the corner, he could have been one square forward, but then that would have been two GFIs from the Wraith. Which he could have done to be fair, like no. It is better to get a bit closer, isn't it? But it doesn't have to be closer, I guess. What could he do? He could go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. So he could go back and laterally to get in if people stand in front of him. So he should have enough. Get in. Funny that I knew there was a was a good defence from Big Kev mostly, but then there was just that little that was a little bit undefended. Yeah, ghouls are incredible players. It always blows my mind. Well, it used to blow my mind when people played uh, played Necro on Fumble without ghouls. Like, that blew my mind because they're incredible players. And now, obviously, that's a lot less viable seeing as Wraiths can't handle the ball. And, like, you see people not take max... Uh, you see people not take max... Uh, Ghouls on undead, which I think is crazy. Necro versus undead. Um, I think Necro are, are a lot better once they get the skills now. Rerolls this, going for the power. That was a. Uh... Oh, he's got wrestle as well, right? So because the because the ghouls got wrestle as well. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, this is pretty. That's a pretty good jam, isn't it? A uh, thousand TV, the undead are far better. At 1100, the undead are better. At 1200, the undead are better. <laughs> and then once you get like 1300 or something. Basically, it's just when the wraiths get skills, right? When the wraiths get skills is when the uh, necro start to take over. And when, like, you have other mighty blows rather than just mummies. So in NAF style, the wraiths get guard instantly. And in NAF style, often Necro are tiered below Undead. If Necro are in the same tier as Undead, then I'd probably go Undead. But they're not in the same tier in general. So... Um, yep. Do you do a one day a one day here with the uh, Wraith? That could be the play, because then if you power it, you push it up and then blitz this one with guard. No, oh, well then you can just do the one anyway, yeah, you can just blitz and push it. Anyway. Alright, errata, errata. But it's got block and he's got wrestle, so it was a 2 plus instead of a 3 plus. I wonder if it was better to do a 1D with a wraith. Because then if you've got the push, you could have then 2D'd with the Wraith and then you, with the Ghoul and you're more likely to get the power. I guess it wasn't. I guess it was probably better to, to just do the 1D Blitz. It might have been better to do the 1D Wraith. I'm not sure. Yes, if, if you pushed with the Wraith and then you pushed with the Ghoul. But if you pushed with the ghoul, you'd still get a 4 plus 3 plus. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, his play was like the obvious one. His play was the obvious one, right? Like, that, the, the obvious just go, right, well, I'll 1D and dodge, right? Like, I'm not... That I think that would be most people's or most decent players' reaction would be to um would be to just do that. But I wonder if the one D from the Wraith was better. Um I mean the, the ghoul's a three plus, right? It doesn't matter if you palm or not, it's just a three plus and then a and then a dot with dodge. Ah uh, yes, Commander Sprague, yeah, it was. It was a brilliant WWE thing. There are videos on the YouTube. Um, but yeah, we did it a lot through lockdown. Through lockdown, um, Skura Metzo, like wrote proper storylines and everything. <laughs> and it was incredible. And then uh, we kept it going for a bit. But in the end, it was, it was too much work. So it stopped. But it was incredible. If the throw didn't get knocked down off the wraith hit, then your then your ghoul would blitz him, right? Then your ghoul would blitz him, and if he pows him, it's a three plus dodge. If you powed, I don't know. I could do it after. I could do it after the video. I could I, after after this game. I could like I could I could explain what I was thinking. Yeah, that's what it was. That's what it was. I mean, all the all the all the all the uh, JFW videos are on YouTube, so you could check out some. Honestly, some of them were great. It was a lot of fun. It were a lot of fun. Right, one turn, the best one turner in the world. Can he do it? So we're gonna blitz this guy, push him to there. We've got the ogre to hit him. 
Okay, we've started off. We've got the throw and the catch to start it off. Very nice. Correct ordering. So this can be a pow, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this can be a pow. No, it can't be a pow. Okay. I'm incorrect. This one had to be a push. But afterwards it can be a pow. The second one can be a pow. Because he's got this one here for the ogre to hit. Yeah, it is tricky because he's got to get four pushes, hasn't he? He's got to he's got to push his own player forward to then get the push back. Out of rerolls now. Yeah, he's got. Yeah, yeah, he had to he had to reroll it because he's only moving seven, isn't he? So now you're probably bringing this guy. And then block that one forward. Oh no, no, this this works. Yeah, yeah. There's no need for that. Does he go here? Or here. Right, so needs these two filled. We actually didn't need to block with that guy. Oh, so he could have pushed him to there. He's made it a dodge instead. Uh, so he's 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 added a dodge instead of a block, which is the block is the dodge is sixty six and the push is fifty five. So it was correct to do. And he gets the pout. And he's got a chance at the one turn. Very good. Movement seven, one turn. All the pushes. Instantly fails the dodge. <laughs> and there you go. But you know, did all the things right except the dice rolls. I mean, that's the thing. Like movement seven are uh, movement seven uh, one turns aren't easy, right? Like just the amount of pushes you've got to roll, and then agility three ones are hard because of the dodges you've got to roll. So yeah, it was a very good, a very good try. Yeah, Necroscope was just a hand, hand over and potato, basically. It wasn't a full potato. He had a he had a wraith guarding it. But... So Diamond is one 0 up. He's not going to lose. That is guaranteed. At least a draw now. And Core is not going to win, but he might be able to get a draw. Both players full at full strength eleven. Ah, I guess okay. Technically, Diamond is down a skill. Oh, he could have had. He could have fielded him. He just hasn't fielded. Oh no, he hasn't fielded him. He's been sent off. I was looking at this and I was like, he hasn't fielded him. I was just looking at like that aspect of it, right, and not looking at the big fucking. Gold thing above his head. What well, was it like that? Maybe, maybe it was like that. So I didn't notice it, and just thought, why is he not fielded him? He's been sent off. One more. So yeah, he's 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 got more off the pitch, right? He's got like a hundred TV off the pitch, whereas K Fog's only got forty five off the pitch. So like, slight advantage for K Fog in terms of on pitch presence. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he's played many vampires. Uh, K Fog. He certainly likes Slan. 
and uh, plays a lot of wood elves. I don't know if he's uh, don't know how much how much vampires he's tried. I mean, I know he calls them vampires, so he's played them <laughs> at least a bit. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That was risky as well. That was a risky blitz. Because if he pushes it, he's locked in, in like he's locked touching it, and then it could push him and then surf him, right? He could have got surfed there. He probably should have blitzed from here. Bit of a mistake there from Kfog. Should have blitzed from that square. Because if that had been a double push, he'd obviously have to try and protect him. I guess he could have protected him with this guy, but. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? It's a bit like the, uh, it's a bit like that meme where you know beginners are like rah 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 blitz with a big guy, and then, <laughs> and then people are like, mm, actually you should do safe moves and not hit with your big guy, and then <laughs> the other end is like rah 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 hit with your big guy. But you know when you spent a double on him, so he's got block. Obviously, he's a lot more reliable, and then uh, he's got mighty blow, and and having block and mighty blow is a very good blitzer every turn, and obviously you can get three dice versus strength 3 players, you can get 2 dice versus strength 4 players so it is a great blitzing piece <laughs> there you go Hagrid because like the, might, the, the mighty blow tackler is just not a good attrition blitzer because he's got wrestle right so like he can't, he can't pick on undefended players and 75% knock them down, he's only 55% knocking them down which sucks because knobs suck. It's so like even here, it's still better just to like Olga Blitz this, this zombie, right? Because you're 75% knocking him down. So even if you take away the 16% that you don't activate, it's still better. Oh, is he going to foul the fleshy? This is very aggressive. If this, uh, if this isn't a pow, yeah, okay. If that wasn't a pow, you can sidestep over there, stand up the fleshy, push him and surf him. So that was a... Uh... Again, this is a little bit scary, a little bit. Oh, wow. Look at that, pushing forward. Where's Dimmy to take the piss out of me when you need him? That's very, uh, a very early push, isn't it? Is he going to gang foul this guy? Surely, he surely is going to gang foul this guy. Because, because this, this body, oh, this is a bodyguard, shit. That was a lineman, I thought the lineman could get him. I guess he's got to foul with a thrower then. But then he, the thrower has to protect the ball. He can't foul with a leader, so I guess he can't foul with Fleshy. It has, yes, Astrotor, yeah. Guard works correctly. As the rules, you know, decree it. <laughs> it was a good change, really. It's it's funny how impactful guard assisting fouls was. And I'm sure they, they never intended it. It was just lazy wording. This was very nice, wasn't it? Getting, him, getting this ghoul tagged, because he could one in nine. And if he blocks, then all of a sudden it's two players out of the play instead of one. Yeah, I mean, obviously everybody knew how good guard was, but I just think they didn't think about it assisting 
fouls as well, right? When they wrote it, it they just kind of, I, I think they just didn't realise what they were doing. And I think people underestimated how good it is affecting fouls was because you'd never experienced it before, right? You know, you play, you play your blood bowl and you get all of your men fighting other men and you just think, oh, well, you know, for guard affecting fouls, it's unnecessary, but it shouldn't be too big a deal. But then when you play it, all of a sudden you realise, oh, well, once guard affects fouls, I've suddenly just got three, four assist fouls in the middle of a fight, and that's just crazy. Crazy stuff. Hello, Chrissy B. Interesting to say guard assisting fouls is a top three skill, rather than a top one skill. <laughs> Sorry, guard assisting blocks. Uh, yeah, I'd say, I would say guard is a top one skill, really. Yeah, obviously, block's great. The thing is, like, wrestle's nearly as good as block, right? And it's sometimes better than block. But you could definitely give every single player block dodge guard and it would be a good it would be a good player and a good team if everybody had block dodge guard Is obviously black dodge card, yeah. Yep. But guards number one. Like blocks better than wrestle because it can knock people over, right? But on some players you would rather have wrestle than block. But block is just better overall. You know, because your ball carrier isn't knocked over, etc. etc. Your guard player is still stood up, etc. Block in general better. Yes. <laughs> yes, knobs w actually would be OP if they had four block guard players instead of four wrestle stand for them. Yes, they would. Yes, they would. And yeah, there's a good turn from Diamond there, wasn't it? He did do that dodge that he had to do. Got the wolf out there, he got his guards in, he's got his stand firm and his sidesteps. Read this is a really good, really good turn from Diamond there. This looks horrendous for Big Kev. I wasn't a huge fan of, of how far forward Core pushed. But um very good response from Diamond. Oh, AV break. Only a stun. Maybe he's got a dodge back. Mm, looks like it. Get the assist there. Got a power, he could have 2D the Wraith. He could blitz the Wraith. Because then whatever happens, the Wraith won't be basing this guy, so then he can come back. So, yeah, this one could blitz. He's not blitzing, he's just moving in back. Anyone in that is diced. <laughs> uh, it can't 1D the Wraith because the Wraith are just sidestep, right? I mean, you could try and 5 plus him, but looking at 3 plus 5 plus him. Better just dodge with dodge, I think. 
And then duck deal one out as well if you do. Hello, Festung. I think this guy maybe should have blitzed, right? I think this guy should have moved. He's gone one, two, three, four, five, six. And then like seven afterwards or whatever. And then this guy could have come up over the sideline. But I mean, that's very minor. But I think I think he could have done that. But I guess the problem is he, he could have sidestepped here. Which you don't particularly want. But it's not too bad. I don't think sidestepping to there is too bad. I think I'd be okay with him sidestepping to there. I guess sidestepping to there isn't good. But then, then you're just left in the same position as you are here. So I feel like blitzing him with this guy first was correct and then moving him over there. But yeah, I mean, you're going to have to win nine there. It was a good turn by, good turn by uh, Diamond. Diamond might get... Do you know what I think would be good here? Would be zombie in here, block him onto him and scatter the ball and see if it goes into the crowd. See if you can get yourself a real easy... A real easy... Uh, I know you can just go and pick it up now, it's not any tackle zones, but the problem is you get served, don't you, if you fail to pick up. That was interesting. So this... Takes the ogre out with a zombie, which is good, isn't it? So tag, tagging the ogre with a zombie, and it gets you the serve. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good. And then you can try for your cool pick up. The only problem is if you fail the pick up. I guess you could, hmm. yeah, you can put in the you can put in the fleshy here, right? You can put in the fleshy here first. That makes it a bit harder to surf. Oh, oh. I think I would have put in the fleshy there, and then um, so that if this is a fail, you know you've got a bit more near the ball, and you've got, it would only be a one D sir instead of two D sir. But that was uh, that all worked, and it's looking pretty great for Diamond. What a cruel world. <laughs> like here, wrestler's just worse than block, right? Like most of this game, the wrestler's just worse than block. And in most games, wrestler's worse than block, but. At least wrestle does have a use sometimes. Appearance. God. <laughs> well, I think this is the first game that, like, K Fog hasn't made, like, a kind of a horrendous misclick in. So at least that's gone well for him. But, um. You know, he hasn't been diced, right? He hasn't had his own team torn to shreds or anything. Only taken the one removal. He might have had the worst look on blocks in general, but then he stunned his fleshy a couple of times. Made some stuns, taken some stuns. The big thing was just the dodge, which was, you know, maybe he shouldn't have pushed that far forward. But even even if he hadn't, it was a great turn by Diamond. I think he said it. Definitely want to bring the ball over here, right? Just get it. And you're so far away from all the knobs, you're out of any threat. Get far away from the knobs. That's 
That's a lovely knockdown. Let's let's the fleshy get into here. Probably. Doesn't have to, but it's pretty it seems pretty nice and to get it in there. Like okay, it's getting two D'd by Mighty Blow the next turn. But at least like if you go in there and you get this knockdown, it's it's taking three players' actions just to punch him. And you could put him on there, but then you're not getting this hit or this hit. So putting him in here, you get this 2D and that 2D. He's not putting him in. So it's safer for the fleshy, but there's like there's so few turns left, right? If this was first half, I like this square more. Second half, I like getting him in there and getting you two hits here. And if he gets knocked down by somebody taking three actions, so be it, because you know, Kvog's got so few turns left. Hello, Dimmy. Nobs OP. Nobs, nobs, nobs. Whoop. Oh my goodness, double GFI. Yeah, see, I, I feel like he, he did that double GFI. He didn't need to, right? If he'd, if this guy had gone in there, he could have 2D'd him. And if he pals him, he gets this 2D. And then he might not have, you know, obviously, he could have piled in there and then fend. One, two, three, GFI, GFI. He wouldn't have had to have done anything, so it's interesting. I think it was better to put the fleshy in there. Is this guy going to go up here and punch, punch this one? You can also dodge off the ghoul at the end. No. Mm. Well, maybe you can't dodge off the ghoul. <laughs> because at the moment, there would be a 2D... Yeah, so the problem with this dodge off of the ghoul is... We've got an uphill... Power on this guy. And then a 2D power on this guy, and then an ogre hit on the ball. And you may think that's stupid, but... It's all k has got. Okay, that stun is amazing because now you can move this zombie to cover that. But had that not been a stun. Incredible. Incredible turn there. A bit of luck. Yeah, that stun. That stun was incredible, yeah. Turns out being AV8 plus is bad. Who knew? I love that his team is called Jimmy Don't Look. <laughs> now runs all the way around, gets his 1D, and gets the wrestle down. Obviously had like no choice but to do that with uh, with this guy being here. I did prefer the freeing the old group this guy was too. <laughs> as silly as it was. Is he just dodged to heal or something? Mm. Oh, jump! Oh my god! Okay, that was cool. He did the jump to go for the ball. Nice. Nice, because the, you know, they were just going to recover next turn anyway, so yeah, go for the jump. And then go for the four plus pickup. Pretty cool. He's got two rerolls, so he could he could have rerolled that three plus dodge. Oh wait, no, he didn't. It was a four plus, and he failed it. Ah, oh. okay. I thought he'd already popped up. For some reason, I was looking at that and thought he'd popped dodge on the previous one. But no, so it was, yeah, it was a dodge, it was a dodge. Four plus fair. Diced.
He's got to pick up on the coup, right? Really wanted a power there so he could attack the tackler with a zombie. But he might have to tag the tackler with the wolf. Of course, Diamed is 1 0 up, so doesn't actually have to get downfield. You could try and, uh, you know, make a pocket somewhere and just, just, uh, put, just, uh, like a turtle. Uh, at least by punching this guy, punching this guy, punching this guy. Yeah, I could have done something maybe, rather than the wolf blitz like that. Like the wolf could have blitzed this fella. Come from up down here. Oh, the wolf was in contact, wasn't it? Mm. Tough. Tough. There might, have, there might have been some other way of, like, you know, just getting the ball safe around here. Because he does have these two players. But then, of course, it, you know, he could have blocked first to see if he powered them and stuff. A blockless block. Another block with block. This is the thing, right? Like blocking with the uh, wraith is better because it's a block of block. This is a bit more risky, but getting the knockdown with the wraith meant that this fleshy couldn't really get anywhere. It could only get to here, whereas now the wraith can. can it doesn't move the wraith yet, though. Okay. Maybe should have moved the wraith first. Is he going to put the wraith here? I oh, know he'd have to dodge one, two. Three, four, five, six. You could put the wraith there, right? Eye cage with a wraith. I think that's probably the best. Oh, flip me. That is rowdy. So kind of trapping this, I mean he's definitely going to fall plus the ball, like he's definitely going to fall plus the 1D the ball. I think I definitely preferred my way of the eye cage with the guard in front. Makes it a lot harder for the tackler to hit the ball, like he's already 1-0 up. Whereas this is just a 4 plus to get 1D, I mean that's 100%. 100% the play for Big Kev here. Yeah, I think I really much preferred my one of Guard eye cage. There's no way to make it a two D, but or recover afterwards. I guess you could stand this guy up first. Don't. The, this one might be able to react, so maybe just stand this one up. But even he can't probably can't react. He probably just stand everybody up. Depressing, isn't it? It's depressing, but like this is actually really good for the the wraith here. Oh wow! Well, this is why I wrote off. This is why I wrote off getting a two D, because all you can do is one dice him, and he's got sidestep. So it's just, uh, I guess it only fails in a 1, right? So it's just a 2 plus roll that might work. So now he can 3 plus to make it a 2D. And just get a stand firm guy in contact with him. So I guess that was correct. Even though it looks kind of stupid, right? Because it only works in a 5 plus. So it looks really lucky because it worked. But actually, it was only failing on a 1 still. So it was a 2 plus to not fail at least. But it was lucky to roll a 5 plus. Like it was objectively looking to get the five plus, but the ri the risk was low, wasn't it? Basically non-existent. Oh, he was blitzing with him oh, into him. Okay, so he did the one D blitz into another one D hit. So that saves the four plus dodge. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder 
if a faultless dodge would have just been better. It's interesting, isn't it? I wonder if I wonder if it would have been better to have just stood there and have somebody, you know, like have somebody touching him for sure. Says you're obviously a two plus. But then this would have been a four plus into a two D. Because that was a one D into a one D. Right tackle. Interesting. Interesting. Not a hundred percent. Like none of these are a hundred percent obvious, which is better. But it's interesting, isn't it, that both people are doing things. Well, not actually. Diamond did exactly the normal thing that I would have thought people would have thought would have done. But I came up with something a bit different. Maybe that was the normal thing that Kfog did. But I thought that was a bit, a bit different than the normal thing. Um, but maybe it isn't. Well, there you go. Dimmy G in tatters. Nobs still not winning a game in Super League. And in fact, about to lose. Absolute tragedy. Jimmy, don't look. <laughs> really anything you can do at this point. But it's a great success for the uh, one Necro Wolves so far. Say it's over. Stick a fork in him, he's done. There's only one turn left, so unless there's a... Uh, uh, there could be a riot into a one. No, the right, the right doesn't work like. No, the right always works like that now, doesn't it? So there could be a riot into a one turn into a blitz into a defensive touchdown. So there's technically still a chance. Don't say it's over, <laughs> but um, it is only technically a chance. basically guaranteed yeah only only Elliot would say it's not over it's a high kick so with that with that it's over isn't it there could be a one turn for a two one loss but Maybe they're like exchanging pleasantries in Discord or something, and that's why this is. Uh... Nice then, 
has to turn the elephants over. No reason to uh, waste anybody's time, right? The good thing with it being NAF style, if this was like a league or whatever, obviously you'd want to get SPPs or, you know, don't have your players die, that all that sort of thing. Um, but with it being with it being not that sort of thing, you can just end the turn and get on with your life, so that's nice. <laughs> um, so there you go, 2-0 to Diamed, easy win. Nobs destroyed, <laughs> and uh, and that means the table after three games looks like this. We have Diamed top of the league. K Fog is probably out because even if he wins his last two games and he's on five, the other people will have to get points because they're playing each other, right? So I think K Fog might be officially eliminated after three games. But uh, Diamed on five, Strider on four, Olivia and Monitor and Tree. They, you know, it's, all, it's all still pretty. It's still very close. Like it, it's not. It's not set in stone. But yeah, Diamed is definitely looking good for qualification. So there you go. Very good and uh, well played both. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.